What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. Today I'm going to be repairing a trailer. The trailer has been used in salt water. Um, it's not that old. It's a 2013 Tracker. It housed a 1860 Tracker Grizzly. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty decent trailer. I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you exactly what we got. All right, so it's back in. It's pretty rough. This size is really rusted out. I mean, it's still pretty sturdy, but uh, this needs to be replaced. We're gonna cut about two feet off of this, and we're gonna replace this cross brace that's five foot and reattach these two bunk boards to it. The rest of the trailer is actually in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got some nice tires on it. Um, there's really no rust spots or holes or anything up in here. I mean, the front of it looks great. These are my pieces uh, I'm gonna be replacing. I've already cut those. But um, this trailer originally had brakes on it. He did take the brakes off. And you don't really need brakes on a boat that light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back to some good metal. I'm gonna replace this back piece. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna replace the cross member. Um, unfortunately, I lost one of these. I guess it rusted completely off and fell off on me. So I'm gonna have to build another light mount with a, a transom tie down strap on it. Shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, this isn't gonna be a brand new trailer, obviously, but by doing this, you can put a lot of life into this thing. Probably last another five, maybe 10 years if you just fish the fresh water and take care of it. Let's get back to work. All right, so I got that cut off, cleaned up. See, I got my seam, meets up pretty good right here. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I've, I got this piece of angle clamped up here just to keep it nice and straight going across here. And I'm gonna got the same exact thing, mirror image on the opposite side. I'm gonna throw a couple of tacks and tack these tubes together. This is an inch and a half by three by one eighth tube. Once I get those two tubes tacked into place, then I will place this five foot cross uh, piece in between them and get that tacked up make sure everything's nice and level and front to back looks good then we'll weld the whole thing up let's get back to work And just like that, it's all tacked up. That took me 40 minutes to cut that and put this on here. That's it. It's just tacked though. I'm gonna come back, weld it solid. Everything looks good, all the measurements look good. Looks nice and level. Looking down the side. I'm gonna weld this out. We'll get some paint on this thing and all these light mounts on the back. Let's get back to work. All right, so the trailer is done. It's all welded out, it's ready to go. The only thing I have left to do is attach these taillight brackets. Then obviously I have to run the wires for the uh, new taillights and paint it. But um, I'm missing one of these brackets. So since I have this one off, I'm gonna go ahead and try to program it into my plasma table and the CAD program. That way I can just burn these out at any time if I wanna make a trailer or need to replace one of these. Um, 
pretty simple. Uh, it's just three and a half inches up, three inches over. It's got these slotted holes here for the different lights to attach into. Then it's got a hole in the side for you to run your wires through, which actually fits inside of the rectangular tubing of the trailer. And it has this fin on the side right here with a hole for your transom. So I'm gonna try to draw this, get this thing burned out, and get it put together. Let's get back to work. pretty loud over here but that's the piece I got it laid out I'm gonna burn it out I could use it for either side it all depends on the way that I bend it let's get a piece of metal on the table and burn this thing out All right, so just like that, it's done. Got a coat of primer on it. I'll come back and paint it when I put the, the lights in here, but that's the piece I made. That's the piece that was already on here. Turned out really well. Now I have that saved in my program. All in all, quick fix, took me two hours. Somebody's gonna get a trailer that's in decent shape. It's gonna last them a good while for cheap price. I did throw an extra patch on the inside, on both sides, just to help stiffen it up. Weld it all the way around on the bottom. Turned out really sick. All right guys, that's a wrap. Trailer is completed. If you're interested in the trailer, leave a message. If you got any questions or anything, leave a message, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Time for me to get back to work.